All right. Hey, everybody. Let's see. Let's get this party started. There it is. Okay. Let me share out. Hey Bethany. <laughs> do you wanna come do you wanna come on screen or no? Hey Patricia. And who else? Hey Julie. <laughs> How are you? How is everyone? Okay. Nope. Hey, Thalia. No, okay. I didn't think so, but I just wanted to be sure. All right, we're going to give people time to get on and share. I'm going to write everybody's name down. If you can think of anything specific you'd like to, like to release, or bring in let let me know um, since I couldn't do it as a paid event on my business page I'll just um, okay hey Kim hey Deborah okay I'll just charge for like the mini readings and stuff like that okay You know what, I can do that afterwards, actually. So let's share out. That was, uh, I gotta figure that business page thing out. You hear the train? Hi, Kim, how are you? My beautiful sister. How is everybody tonight? Everybody having a good time? I'm not drinking. But I am doing really good, surprisingly enough. So what are we doing tonight? Well, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, six spell candles set up. Um, they're all ready to go. Um... And I'm going to tell you about each one. Of course, most of you probably already know, but I'm going to give a little insight onto each one and what their intention is. We're going to sever any energetic cords that 2021. 20, hey, how are you? Um, may have brought in. We're going to release all of that. And. Then we're going to bring in um, positive energy and, um, yeah, just fill all those spaces with love and light. What is it, Scruffy? <clears throat> I have some sound healing that we're going to do. I have... Uh, <laughs> Scruffy's talking. <laughs> I 
I have the chakra uh, stones. I have grids set up and more to set up. Um, all sorts of stuff. Yep. I'm excited. Ooh, sushi. Hey, Trisha. I'm just sharing out. If everybody could share out. Let's see. I've got a bunch of groups to share it to. I'm going to do readings for 11, 11 tonight. I'll do some free card pulls. Thank you, Deborah. And uh, we're going to be severing, severing some and releasing, releasing a bunch of stuff that we just don't want to hang on to. We don't want to bring it into the new year. So we're going to let it go. And then we're going to bring in focus, positivity, happiness, opportunity, success. Um, all sorts of things. Oops. Okay. I'm live right now. Yep. <laughs> Thank you. She's amazing. Oh, I can't listen to your voice messages, Bethany. Okay. All right. Let's see. Thank you. <laughs> I took a lot to get it this way. <laughs> ah, you're so funny. The voice messages say I lost. Hold on a minute. Oh, awesome. <laughs> Bethany, that's awesome. It is getting so long, isn't it? Yep. I know, I was thinking, I should vow not to cut my hair ever again. And then I was like, yeah, right. <laughs> I'm way too random for something like that. <laughs> but that is my plan. I don't really want to um, cut it.
Oops. Hey, I got interrupted. Yeah, the the spirits have been insane here again. Um, the subscription. What What do you mean the subscription? Or the you mean the fee? It's not a paid. I I went. I tried and it got messed up, and so I'm on my public page. Yep. So <clears throat> I think what I'll do is I'll just do donations for the services that I'm offering, except for readings. Readings will be eleven eleven. Okay. Sorry, messenger. All right, I should only have a few more groups here to share to. Let's see. Hey, Kelly. How are you? Thank you. Oh, hey. I'm talking to my phone. I'm so funny. She's awesome. How are you doing, Kelly? So... Is that the... Oh, my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> she is amazing. Yes, add it to that one. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, let's see. Yeah. She's she does my ads. She's doing my ads for me. You know it seems every time I go live lately 
I'm noticing a group that I never knew I even belonged to or <clears throat> my blocked list is unblocked. All sorts of stuff. There's always something new. Are you kidding me? Oh, okay. All right, <clears throat> let's see. I gotta go and delete all my videos again because 30 days just isn't enough. Hey, Sasha, how are you? Happy New Year. <clears throat> it's a big night, Sasha. I want you, uh, you know, it's really good that you're here. I'm really happy because we're going to be severing ancestral energetic cords we're gonna release all that 2021 20, has built up in our bodies and our mind and our spirit all the negative things it's, we're gonna be bringing in all that 2022 has to offer yep Hey, Jules. How are you? I'm trying to earn that. I don't think I can pay that, though, as much as I want to. I just got funeral expenses and stuff right now that, that are weighing on me. Yeah, it's good. I'm glad you're here, Sasha. I have to pay more attention to um, Instagram. I'm still sharing to groups. This is crazy. It trips me out that For as many places as I can go live. Hey, Amy, there she is. Oh, well, that's it. Okay. How many? How many groups does Mystical have? Oops, no, I don't want to do that. The gang's all here. Oh, no, they're not, actually. But a lot of us are. The cool people are. <laughs> I love it. Thank you, Beth. <laughs> the cool people are. <laughs> Beth, you're so funny. Okay. Let's see here. What am I going to do? 
Well, I'll tell you. We are going to do some releasing of negative habits, thoughts, patterns, energy in general. We're going to balance and clear any blockages from your chakras, your aura, <clears throat> and hang on. <laughs> Oh, okay. There we go. We're going to do some readings. We're going to do some crystal healing energy. We're going to bring in gratitude and love and positive energy, focus, um, success. I got a whole list. Gratitude. We are going to do some sound healing for the heart chakra. <clears throat> Let's see here. And everybody else is here, so okay. Need to release. Chakras orange. Oh, okay. I was like, does that say storage? Orange. Okay. Sacral would that be? I should know that. Well, I've got my selenite knife that we're severing any energetic cords and ancestral cords um, and karmic cords with. I've got my wand with the spiral, which I got it written down, but um, focuses and holds the energy or the intention. There she is. Hey, 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 Trudy. Focuses the energy directly to where it is needing to go or where I am sending it with my intention. Um, I've got the chakra crystals all laid out. I've got my pendulums. We'll be doing pendulum questions too if you want. Three dollars a question. All right, and I have, what did I say? One, two, three, four, six spell candles ready to go. And I'm going to let you know what those are for. Just in case anybody doesn't know. Karmic cords, yes. <clears throat> they must be severed and um, pulled out by the root and then filled with love and gratitude and sent, sent into the light. And that's what I'm going to do today. Hey, Tina. Oh, shit. All 
Well, you want to release airy, make that in your intention. Okay. Happy New Year. I want to I want to just take a moment to uh Love and light, blessings and abundance. Yes. Yep. I want to take a minute to um, acknowledge Betty White. Betty White was one of my idols. I absolutely loved her, and she passed away today. Um, how are you doing, Tina? And Trudy, how is everybody? I'm getting chilly. It is a little bit chilly. All right. I don't know if you can see the crystal balls over here. Let me see. Let me see my crystal balls. And I've got all sorts of different crystals there. A grid at the bottom. Oh, oh shit. Shoot. I'm not going to watch my mouth. <laughs> we're, we're honoring Betty White. So I am in Tweed Heads at the moment visiting your mom. Awesome. Thank you, Trudy. Okay, my relationship is past life, is gone, do you think? Okay, Bethany, you have a good time. I love you too, Bethany, so much. Can you answer that? Oh, thank you, Bethany. Awesome, Trudy. Awesome. I look forward to getting that picture. All right. I don't think I understand your question completely, Sasha. My relationship is past life is gone do you think i don't know what you mean hey nikki girl how are you so i'm doing donations um it was supposed to be a paid event um but it didn't work out that way um but let me tell you about the spell candles okay we've got a we've got Ooh, I keep hitting that thing. Hey, Patty. Wait a minute. Where'd it go? Oh, shoot. <gasps> oh, my goodness. Okay. Hey, Julie. Hold on a minute. Okay. That was so weird. That was so weird. Okay. I'm going to ignore that. But ignore my phone. What is it, Scruffy? Who are you barking at? So we got a white cat, uh, uh, candle, spell candle ready to go. <laughs> Which represents new beginnings. Protection, purity, truth, peace, harmony, and calming of the mind. Okay, we've got a blue one for the same thing. Um, we've got a green one to bring in growth, money, success, earth energy, attraction, prosperity, 
health and expansion. We've got yellow that is to bring in or help us. Okay, Trudy, have a good time. Help us with our our focus, our clearing, no, our learning, our clearing of mental blocks, wisdom, confidence, new ideas, and logic. Not sure where I wrote the rest of those down there, but we've got a black one for for protection, for strength, for resilience and self-control, and to absorb and banish any negative energies. And pink for love, for friendship and faith. But there was more than that. I don't know where I wrote it all down at, though. Can you... Pendle, that is T karmic, past life relationship, over jet. Can I sever the cords for you? Is that what you're asking me? I want everybody to realize that. <laughs> you know, when you get like a healing and you get services from people if if you keep the same patterns and habits and the same way of thinking and the same limited beliefs if you don't change any of that <clears throat> it'll keep happening it'll keep happening keep happening and that's why you have to keep coming back and keep coming back um, or maybe one of the reasons when when my I suggest that it, you know when you have a healing done or the severing of energies especially like ancestral or karmic entities or energies that are attached to you there's expansion to be had there. There's, you know, a movement forward. And if you aren't willing to, I don't know, visit those beliefs and, and, and release it, then it's it's just going to be another pattern added to the ones we already have. Does that make sense? It makes sense? Okay. So my answer to you, Sasha, is yes. Um, but this is... I, we've known each other for probably two and a half years, correct? And these are the same same words and the same question that you've been asking me since the day I met you. And, oh no, I got to go fill up his water dish. It got tipped over. And I just don't know... How to help you in its entirety unless I'm working directly with you and I can't do that for free I have way too much on my plate um, need change yeah change is important and it's not always negative change is actually really positive 
Hey, Gary, how are you? Okay, I'm going to ask you to hang on one minute while I get my, fix my dog's water. Shut my door and turn some heat on. All right, I'm back. <clears throat> okay. All right. I'm going to start with the candles. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see. <laughs> I just realized that. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Where's that? No, we should actually start with our intention for the candles, <clears throat> which I kind of already did prior, but I want you to see some of it. So, um, Whoa. All right. So with each candle, it's going to be different because it's going to be, you know, with that color. So let's see. Can you guys see the candles? Oh, you can see one. All right. We'll start with that one. Blue. Blue is for focus, protection. And what else? For balance. In spiritual spirituality. Abundance. This is for in life, just in general. So we're bringing in balance. We're bringing in gratitude and courtesy, love, consideration, prosperity, and sharing. That's blue. I got two of those. All right, we have green. I don't know if I mentioned that earlier, but we have green. Green brings is for money. Hey, Audrey. All right, green is for hope, growth, healing. It encourages movement and helps overcome indecisiveness. So it's going to help us with our focus as well. I know you want love. I do. We've talked about that many times. I've got a pink one for love. Yep. 
as well. So. Where's my other lighter go? I had a torch lighter. All right. For love, kindness, friendship. And we have a yellow one. Yellow is for solar magic, leadership, productivity, blessing, and health. And so much more. I knew you would chime in. I am not sure what is going on. My Facebook is messing up. That's not good. Lots of, well, retrograde. <laughs> Yellow is for our, our clearing mental blocks, bringing in wisdom and confidence, logic, new ideas, and to help balance our focus. And I have white one for purity, purity of thought, being, energy, everything good in this world, the truth, unity, oneness, harmony, happiness, ascent, a donation. Okay. We'll take yellow for health for your family. Okay. Here's that yellow one. Now I'm gonna, or no, here's the white one. But I'm also gonna, I have about, just one, two, three, four crystal grids that are about that big around. They're all on mirrors. Put you down for a reading and a donation. I'll pay. Okay. And Amy, I'll do a yellow candle for you extra over and above this one. Okay. And Patricia, I know you're here still. Oh, if you're not, though, I'm going to be reading for you as well. All right. So... Sasha, I love you too. Ready to be happy, healthy 2022. I love that. Yeah, yeah. You're welcome, Patricia. Okay. All right. So, Sasha, all of that I'm doing tonight, I want you to take it and apply it. And as far as love, I've told you many, many, many times, it starts within. When you can love yourself unconditionally, then you will attract the right person who will love you the same way. I'm ready for the new year. Are you? Good. Good, good, good. All right. But it starts with you. All 
I'm ready for this new year, too. <laughs> Not that I think 2021 was bad. I absolutely, you know, I had some hard times, as most of you guys know, um, especially late, as of late. But it's still, I don't know, it just seems normal to me. And maybe that's, you know, I had more good times and more connection. I mean, I thought 2021 was a pretty good year. Yeah, personally. But I know not everybody feels that way. <laughs> and I know that, that it was a hard year, whether it was good or not, it was hard. And and it's done and we need to put it to rest <laughs> yep I, I'm ready to put it to rest that's for sure okay so let's see Woohoo! But got to wait. Just got confirmation from my oldest daughter. We are celebrating Christmas on Thursday. Joanna is going or is doing much better. Awesome. Congratulations. That's awesome. Yep, I had somebody else, my friend Sarah was talking about Christmas in July. <laughs> it was a good year for you. Yep. Except for the kids being sick. Yeah, yeah, that's been so long lasting. It's just unreal to me. I know kids get flus and viruses, though. I don't like it, right? Yeah. And, you know, the one thing that I always, you know, this is going to sound pretty bad, but <laughs> it's just the way I feel. So <laughs> when my kids were so sick, you know, I felt so bad and the fevers and the runny nose and, you know, and then, um, I would give them ibuprofen, you know, and like a half hour later, they're jumping off the couch and, they, you know, just all excited and, and they're home all day for, from school. And I'm like, great. <laughs> I'm glad you feel better, but you're driving me nuts. <laughs> Who is that? Kamaden? Am I saying your name right? Happy New Year. <laughs> Amy understands. Yep. <laughs> yep. Ouch. I burdened myself. So, let me see here. So the selenite, both of my, both my, my sword or my knife and my wand are selenite. Selenite has a very pure energy. And they are used to detach entities and energies from your aura. And to prevent anything external from influencing your mind. So it's going to help with our focus that we're bringing in our clarity of thought and it is going to detach any attachments 
and my wand with the spiral in it. Okay, first of all, wands are used um, to, an, well, especially a selenite one, to intensify and concentrate all that healing energy into the tip of the wand in order to go where it is needed in the body, mind, or soul. Okay. It also it intensifies when programmed with an intention. So before the show or before I went live, I programmed my wand. Oh no. Okay, there we go. For healing, for focus, for releasing. I have a little spell here. A little, not a spell, maybe. Something that I do every day. Um, oh, the spiral. The spiral brings balance and anchors it into your being. It can awaken the Kundalini, um, but I'm not doing that tonight. Anybody who needs that done, you'll have to make an appointment. <laughs> um, we're just going to balance. Okay, let's see. Here it is. Oh. I have cubes, which I have brought together all my shapes, you know, in the crystals. I've got squares or cubes, which anchors my intention or your intention if you wish to set one. It keeps us grounded. It is and it transmutes any negative energy into positive beautiful loving energy. Okay and I have pyramid which is the holding of or which will help hold the manifestation program of my intention. Okay, and I set that prior to the show or the live in order to um, ward off any negative energy and to remove any and all blockages from all your chakras. Not just the seven, but all your chakras. I'm not going to give a number because I don't want to argue with anybody. <laughs> and it's going to replenish that area where the blockage was with love and vibrant energy. It also is good for focus. <laughs> lots, lots of focus. Okay. What? Why am I getting messages from people who are not my friends.
We're not even friends. Yeah. Okay. Won't let won't let me watch your live. Cute kids watched all or used all her data. Aw. All right, Patty is not here. Okay. So I forgot to write down what the free form was for, but. What if every cell had its own chakra? It, I believe it does. I believe that it does. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of chakras. <laughs> yep. It is a lot of chakras. There's thousands and thousands and thousands of chakras. The earth has all its own. I mean, there's chakras in everything. Yep. <laughs> it's crazy. I'm going to have a cigarette. A ceremonial cigarette to celebrate. I wish we could have music. I'm getting the attention of Nigeria. Are people in Nigeria? We might we might get a, a troll. Of course, in saying that, I probably just manifested it, so let's hope not. <laughs> yeah, many magical purpose-filled cells that work together in harmony and balance. Yeah, well, they can. <laughs> they don't always. <laughs> Yeah. And I believe that um, each one of those chakras plays a part in your aura as well. I got kicked out. Oh, it's terrible. It's just terrible. All right, code word. It says there's five people here. Code word is, <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> Who's all here? When they are erratic, that's when illness can occur. Hi, Leslie. I didn't mean to call you. That I don't even know when that happened. I'm live right now. But Happy New Year. Oh, 
Okay. Dahlia. Thank you, Leslie. Thank you very much. Patricia's here. Deborah's here. Leslie is here. Happy New Year to you, too. We're going to release what, what we've built up and accumulated throughout this year. Release it and then uh, fill the space with love and light and happiness and openness openness to be able to absorb all that what 22 or 2022 has to offer yep let's see here Okay, I'll be using <laughs> Deborah. Did you just get back? <laughs> I'll be using this to sever the energies along with an intention, and I'll be using this to clear all the blocks blockages in your chakras in each of the seven <laughs> chakras yeah okay ouch oh I want to show off my bracelet here too <clears throat> look what I got Amy's back. <laughs> it's awesome. Look at what I got. It's so beautiful. And look, I just love these beads. I'm going to be buying a shit ton of these beads and making these bracelets. And this one, this one I made years ago, but it's got... It's all quartz, clear quartz. <clears throat> and of course, a hematite for protection. Yeah, I saw that and I was like, what can I give you? Because I don't have no money, but what can I give you to trade for that bracelet? Because <laughs> I really need it. <laughs> Tiger's eye. Yeah, it's got every one of them on here. They're just so beautiful. And it's yeah. I have I have some of these beads, but I only have the um obsidian one. A black one. As far as I know that are exactly like this anyway. I got lots of beads, but Matthew is here. Hello. It's not Matthew, it's uh it's Monica. It's my Monica. Can everybody say hello to Monica? She is my stepson's mother and she's here. From Ryan. Hey, Ryan. He told me to ask you his future. <laughs> yeah, there's all sorts of them, yeah. <laughs> He's got a page just like everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Everybody's saying hello to you, Monica. Hey, Ryan. How are you doing, Ryan? I'm sorry. Ryan is um, Kaylin's dad. Yep. We brought him up here to spend some time with family. Good. Good. I'm glad. Can you write a check? No. <laughs> nope. I don't take checks. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'll call you guys tonight after the live. Yeah. If he wants a reading, I'll give him a reading. But that'll have to be private. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm glad that you went and got him and brought him. Yep. That's good. So, I miss you too. I love you too. He's talking about a hotel, too? I can't participate this time. <laughs> you know what? Betty White died today, Monica. You know what? Come to Mankato. I'll rent you a room. I got a room to rent. <laughs> I still can't participate though, because I'm I'm I got a guy. I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I love you. <laughs> You're so awesome. That's the only reason you were in. I love you. <laughs> but, <laughs> I'm not going to say it on the live. I almost said something really bad. I'll tell you after the show. What now? Hold on. I knew my girl was there. Just, oh my gosh. Oh, I'm so happy you just, that you said that. I love you. I miss you. I know. We need to talk more. I don't talk a lot on the phone. You know that already, but, yeah. I'll be pulling some free cards, though, if you want a card pulled. I'll, I'll pull you a card, Monica. Actually, I should do you a reading, but I would do that privately if you want one right now. I don't know. It's up to you. Okay. So make sure you pick up when I call, okay?
All right. I'm getting out my 18 billion decks of cards here. I've been creating, um, Amy, are you still here? I've been creating, um, I haven't in a while, but frequencies, my own frequencies. And as soon as I get it all together, then I'm going to play it during my lives. Yep. I just got to sit down and, and put it together. Yep. So I got this app. Ouch. I got this app where I can create my own healing frequencies. And they have all sorts of like bird chirping and rain and everything, you know, for calming. And it, it's really beautiful. Okay. I love you. <laughs> Got commentary from my, my co-host that ditched me. <laughs> <laughs> I get I got invited to a hotel and I turned them down. Oh, you don't went. I told him to come here and I'd rent them a room. <laughs> All right, we're gonna sever these energies and then we're gonna send healing. And then I'll do readings. Are those mine? Did you get mine? Okay. All right. I call upon Archangel Michael and my spirit guides and your spirit guides to help me assist or to assist me in severing any, any and all energetic cords that have been attached to us return that energy back to where it came from and I call mine back to me and I call yours back to you any and all leftovers or lost energy we're going to return to the light we're going to send it to the light if there are any entities from past lives ancestral energy or entities or karmic energy that has attached itself. It is now cut free. So mote it be and bless him be.
off. I'm going to do the sound healing bowl as well right now. I'll try not to do it too loud. It really gets, it gets loud. So I don't know if you've noticed, but I've been recording little <laughs> pieces in one of my private groups that nobody's nobody's in but me. I can see where it would be loud if you went faster. Yeah, but sometimes it'll mess up if I go too fast, and then it won't be in at all, and I have to start over. <laughs> it's a lot easier to work than that that uh, Tibetan singing bowl, I tell you that. I'm going to get another one of those, though. Yep, I want, actually, I want the whole set of these. Yeah, the ones that are different colors. But that's like, I think the cheapest I saw the whole set was $700. $700. But if you think about it, if you buy them individually, 
Like that one, that one was a lot of money. Can you wear those? Which ones are they? Those are my favorite ones. Yes. I have the pair that I like that I'm going to talk to Linda. Buying? Buy. Okay. Okay. So I put them, they're upstairs in my room. So okay. Awesome. Just want to let you know. Okay. I got to see which ones they are in order to know the price, but yeah. All right, you going to the store or you going to the casino? Oh, okay. All right. All right. What would be so beautiful? Oh, the set? Yeah. <laughs> that dot connected pretty quickly. I'm saying I'm kind of proud of myself there. <laughs> All right, Patricia, <laughs> you're first on the list. I am so ready to release everything. And I haven't done the chakras yet, so before we do the chakras, I'm going to ask you to take three deep breaths in, or as we're doing them, yep, and just release all that energy. Release all last year. <laughs> Fuck last year. Yep. We're leaving. We're leaving last year for for 2022. And we're gonna leave it. Leave it in our past. And we don't have to live there, so we can just yeah. Just. Try not to think of it again. <laughs> it's hard when they say, you know, don't don't live in your past or you know, don't let your past define you. But it's hard when because of dates, because of memories, and they happen on a certain date. And, you know. It's so it's all connected until until you decide to start telling yourself a different story, one that's defined by your future. That's a trick to into practice. The set. This set is so beautiful. Nice. All right, Patricia, too. You always get the same cards, I think. You got the five of action. The five of action. So that'd be the five of wands, I believe. Your angels want you to know that your current challenge pushes you to be assertive and self-confident. Be willing to stand up for yourself and defend your position. My phone died. <laughs> you have the right to excuse yourself from those from those who bring you drama. Who bring drama and chaos into your life. You can excuse yourself from their, their energy, their presence. Love them from afar. <laughs> yes. I still love you, but just from afar. Your next card is the helper of action. So the knight of bonds. You're blessed with many wonderful things to do. It would be great if you could Take the time to make a plan first, but you probably don't have time. So get busy. Follow your instincts and have fun. You or someone you meet is very self-assured, capable, and enthusiastic and can do anything with a smile. Oh, it fits good. Yep, 
I think you've been already uh, doing this. You've been organizing and organizing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You don't need a plan. Yep. Just do it. Follow that intuition. All right. Here's here's a new one. It's the hanged man. Seeing clearly, but it's a puppy standing on its head. <laughs> Which is perfect for you. <laughs> I love it. It's time to view things from a different perspective. You have the blessed gift to see past the current situation and envision amazing possibilities. This is a perfect card for letting this year go and beginning a new year. Yep. Don't worry. The... Pause in momentum while you rethink your plan won't last. Embrace your uniqueness and allow it to serve you. I love that. <laughs> I love that. Embrace your uniqueness and let it serve you. See that those those words right there. And allow it to serve you can go at the end of anything. Like for me, I'm just, you know, the the epiphany is coming. Or the thought, you know, of my constant battle with technology. I need to embrace that uniqueness and allow it to serve me instead of hinder me. <laughs> Right? It is a nice card. Yep. The Hanged Man. New perspective. Alright, I'm going to pull you an Oracle card. I love you. Thank you for all the hearts. Organizing takes time and patience. <clears throat> Yep, and uh, a lot of focus and follow through, which we're bringing in. Yep, I'm calling in. Wow, they're all, they're all the spell candles are about halfway done, except for the one white one that I lit. That one's still looks pretty tall. Like I just lit it. That's weird. I love it. All right. Oh, nice. You are a powerful light worker. And I dropped it. You are a powerful light worker. It is safe for you to be powerful. That's, the, that, that's so beautiful. Your spiritual power brings great blessings in loving service to the divine. It is safe for you to be powerful. I love it. Lots of thought to organizing. Yeah. Yep. It's Nikki. I love it too. I think we should all tell ourselves we are we are safe and allowed to be powerful light beings yeah light workers that is beautiful oh look at look at what's on the bottom it says cut your cords it's what we're doing Freeing you from destructive patterns. Yep. Hey, Tina. Welcome back. <laughs> Did you, were you gone? Oh, wait. It's Tina Shelton. How are you doing? We are shedding or releasing last year's or this 2021's 
uh, energy in order to accept the new 2022. I'm good. I'm doing okay. Yeah. I thought it died. It didn't die. Mm. Okay. Thank you so much. And, um... When I upload it to YouTube, you'll be able to see it on there, so you can walk through the video with me, or, or I can talk to you after the show. Okay. Now, either way, I'll talk to you after the show. Okay. You're listening. Oh, yeah. Nikki, I don't have a <laughs> silent watcher. Okay. Okay. Thank you for letting me know. Um, I don't have a set price for my donation. I, I really have... Um, you're good. I'm glad you're doing good, Tina. That's good. Um, I don't think... Uh, the word do donation is exactly that. It's a donation. It's whatever you can afford to give at the moment. Um... A payment, however, is a set price. You know what I mean? I don't like it. Well, it's not that I don't like it, but I personally will not ask for a certain set price donation. There we go. I think that's not truthful. <laughs> They're two separate things, a payment or, you know, a donation. So, whatever you can afford. And also, um, I, I'll do full readings for anybody um, after, the, after the live, not during the live. If ever anybody wants readings or extra help releasing certain things, yeah, just let me know. All right, Deborah, you're up. I'll be pulling some cards um, from some free cards as well from three different Oracle decks for the collective and for Thalia, <laughs> my other silent watcher, <laughs> and anybody else who would like one. I gotta not do that. Amy's back. Blowout? What does that mean? She had a blowout? Did she? I'm doing Deborah's, Deborah's reading right now. Yeah, poor baby. I'm going to set up a grid just for your kids. The back side, yeah, that's what I thought you meant. Poor baby.
you're going to take them in tomorrow. Yeah, because it's been longer than 10 days. And any virus at most only lasts about 10 days. And it's very rare to have, like, back-to-back -back different viruses like that. <laughs> you know what I mean? I hate to, so get you know. Yeah. Something's going on. I almost shuffled my cards backwards. Hold on. What you doing? Who said that? The doctors? Really? I would research that because, uh, yeah, I, I don't believe that. I mean, have they had it like this each year? I mean, has it happened like this before? It's different, though. Um, your kids are the only kids that I know that aren't vaccinated, that don't get you know, their whatever recommended shots. Okay, so they've had like different sicknesses at the same time, yeah. Big stretches. I gotta send you guys a picture that we took um, of the basement. Lots and lots of faces. That's really kind of cool. Okay, Deborah. Your first one. <laughs> no, she has the flu. Okay. Man, that sucks. Yeah. I know you don't vaccinate. That's okay. I, I probably know other kids. It's just I, it's never come up, you know, in conversation or whatever. I did jump. <laughs> Deborah verified you too for flinching. <laughs> the nine, the nine of wands. <laughs> you may feel beaten and and bruised in this last battle you've been battling, but it's coming to a close. It's coming to an end and you are protected, you are loved, and it's time to take this, you know, time to heal. I know within that healing journey, <laughs> your battle was <laughs> That's where it is. <laughs> Sucks. You were shut in for about two years. Okay. Yeah. You mean because of COVID or prior to that? No. But it's almost over. Yep. Yep. The biggest part of that battle is over. <laughs> <laughs> the nine. All right, you got the five of swords. The five of swords. Ohio is bad right now. Okay. Yeah. All right, so mental energies. Yep. Are you a, a victor or a victim? It's up to you. Positive thinking. But this challenge that's probably really hard to think positive through is uh, 
is again you know bringing lots of growth and knowledge and balance to your life yeah i suppose yeah in the school they're building immunities to it though good and you got the knight of swords wisdom rushing in that that intelligent mind that sees three steps ahead it's all planned out you already know trust your third eye yep you might want to slow down a little bit on some things though <laughs> <clears throat> chocolate <laughs> no I'm just kidding <laughs> let yourself party let yourself celebrate your friends and your friendships and your family tonight's the night it's New Year's I'm not telling you to drink but definitely celebrate and let that cup runneth over with love And your oracle card, Artemis of the Forest. Ooh, it's a new one. I don't think I've ever pulled this one for you. Not that they do anything. Right. Hey, I have a question. Um, they're not, you know, if you go into the doctor or the ER, they're not forcing people to get vaccinated, are they? They can't force you. I don't think so. I don't want to, <laughs> I haven't researched it yet, but I'm going to. You're not drinking. Okay. Okay. Not here in Ohio. Okay, I guess I'd have to check Minnesota. All right, you got Artemis of the Forest. Now you are independent and free. Yep. Now you are independent and free. That could be from this challenge, you know, from this diagnosis that you've gotten and that you're healing from and getting balanced. You'll have to go and read that, though. I'm going to read it, too. Check it out. It's such a beautiful card. I don't know if you can see it good, but she's like, a... you'll read it. Okay. Yeah, she's like a a spirit, or the or the deers are. That's beautiful. I'm gonna leave that one out. All right. Ah. Good fortune, yeah. Yeah, and they they represent that independence and that confidence I don't think they are forcing in any states okay can they even ask I thought they couldn't even ask like are you vaccinated All right, I'm going to pull some cards for the 
collective and then I'm going to get to my messenger because I got people that are donating that would like they ask okay they asked you okay so I gotta get to my messenger and we don't go to the doctor so we wouldn't know <laughs> <laughs> what is it you gotta go potty you just went potty right before I started how long have I been live I don't even know when I started actually because it's only 8.43 so about an hour yeah over an hour it says okay Does it make a difference on how they treat you? That's my question. Do you have to go to a special section if you haven't been? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. One hour. Oh, so almost two hours. Wow. Okay. Good deal. All right. I guess that wanted to be on the floor. You <laughs> know, good. Okay. It's 1047 there, so it's 947. Okay. That's right. You're an hour later than I am. I was supposed to start at 7, but for some odd reason, I hit the wrong button or something. I don't know. Oh, they do have a sick area and a well area. Wow. You know, which is kind of funny. The ER does, or just the doctor's office? I just tell them I've been quarantined for several years already since I don't leave the house. Yeah, yeah. Where you go, okay. Akron. Okay, the first collective card is Goddess. Express your divine feminine energy, embracing its magical intuition and nurturing qualities. Self-care. I cannot stress it enough. And I do. I do practice it. <laughs> do. Okay, chakra, the sh uh, chakra wisdom is the first chakra, your base chakra. Instinct, I trust that my instincts are correct and I let my natural intu intuitive feelings guide me forwards. I will know what I need to do and how to respond with wisdom to situations that come my way. I have an innate desire to be of service in life. As I tap into this feeling, I will know what service I am called to do. I believe in myself. That's right. This is the attitude we need to have going into 2022. I think. Okay, now I'm going to do a couple of these. Ouch. And Thalia, any of these that resonate for you or for you? Take them all if you want. Yep. Yeah.
tiger. Fire. Girl, you on fire! <laughs> You're welcome. I choose to be unstoppable. My passion is my power. I am bold. I am brave. Mighty forces come to my aid. I love that sentence. I choose to be powerful. No, unstoppable, because I am powerful. That's it. We are all beautiful, powerful creator beings of light. And here's the, the Vibe Tribe community. Bumblebee. You are a powerful creator. See? Your work blesses everything you touch. Be open to receiving sweetness. You are the queen of abundance. Beautiful words to bring in the new year. I love it. All right, everybody. Thank you. Thank you for being here for two hours with me. I love you guys. I'm going to do the chakras after and set up the grids. Yep. I'll, I'll record it. I'll try to record it. You're welcome, Patricia. You're so welcome. All right. I love you. Drink lots of water. Lots of water tonight. Get lots of rest. I love you too, Deborah. And, uh, yep. At any time from now until you go to bed, take three deep breaths in through your nose. Hold it for a minute and let all that you want to release collect into one spot and then release it. Release it and say, I am open to receiving all energy sent from Mina because I'll be healing everybody tonight, okay? Don't forget about Amy. I won't forget about Amy. What do you mean? To say I love you, Amy? <laughs> or her yellow candle that's right here. Yep, I'm gonna I'm gonna anoint it and, and all of that good stuff and put intention into it. After after the live. And after I take scruff out. I love you, Amy. <laughs> I love you guys. All of you. Alright. I'll see you later. Thank you, thank you. Oh, a reading, you think? We'll see. If I if I did forget Amy's reading. Was she on no, she had a candle. Or did you pay for I don't know. A reading and a candle? I'll get her in Messenger. I'm going there anyway. Yep. Yep. I love you, Patricia. Thank you. Thank you for bringing that to my attention. <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys later.